Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ekaterina Zvezdova and I'm a technical service manager at Biolegend. My team helps customers with scientific inquiries, uh, data analysis and troubleshooting. Today we are going to discuss fixation in flow cytometry and why it might be important for your experiment. One of the reasons why you want to perform a fixation is when you are staining intracellular targets. For example, cytokines, nuclear factors, or phosphoproteins. In order to detect those proteins, you need to fix and permeabilize cells so that fluorescent antibodies can get into a subcellular compartment of the cell and bind their targets. Another reason why you want to perform fixation is for the convenience purpose. Sometimes, due to the scheduling purposes, uh, you may need to fix the samples in the middle of the experiment so you can analyze it at a later time point. The third reason why you may want to perform a fixation is for a disinfection purpose, uh, especially when you're working with samples derived from patients with infectious diseases. So it's within the standard practices that you sanitize your samples um, and fix them prior to analysis on the flow cytometry instrument. And the fourth reason why you may want to perform a fixation when you are doing a long um, term studies. For example, you're analyzing samples um, stimulated over a certain time course, and you want to fix different time points um, and analyze the samples at different time points simultaneously. So you are able to get a better and more accurate understanding of what's going on within the cell. Um, there are a few types of fixatives that are used in flow cytometry. One of the most common uh, fixatives that are used in flow cytometry are PFA or paraformaldehyde based. Uh, they are typically used for analysis of uh, cytokines and nuclear proteins. Uh, another type of fixative that are used in flow cytometry are alcohol based, uh, such as ethanol and methanol. Those type of fixatives are typically used for analysis of cell cycle or for staining of phosphoproteins like STAT. What to be aware of when you are fixing your samples? Fixation causes uh, cross-linking of epitopes and due to the alteration of protein structure, certain antibody clones are not able to bind those antigens anymore. Another phenomenon that you can observe during fixation is fluorophore quenching. It is quite known that protein-based dyes, uh, as well as tandem dyes, are more sensitive to fixation. So how you can avoid those things? Uh, one of the first advice that we would give you is that you don't keep your samples in the fixative for a prolonged period of time. Always refer to the manufacturer guidelines when performing this type of stainings. If you're performing surface and um, uh, intracellular staining together, uh, we would suggest you perform surface staining on fresh samples, then you fix your samples and then proceed with intracellular staining. If you want to avoid fluorophore quenching, opt in for synthetic dyes and non-tandem dyes such as alexifluorophores, sparks, or some of the brilliant violet dyes. So if you want to learn more about fixation or if you need more tips, uh, please check our website, um, read our blogs and reach out to us at tech at Thank you.